This is going to be such a relaxing day and I am excited for the break. My husband is having a conference and we are getting to stay at a hotel while the kids are with the grandparents having a great time and we all are just feeling the need for a break. And we we arrived last night and my husband is off at the conference. It is morning time now and he left early. So I stretch and just enjoy the big comfy pillows and white comforter and just the cushy mattress. How our hotel mattress is always so cushy, at least the nicer ones. This is a Holiday Inn Express. I like staying at Holiday Inn Expresses, especially because of their cinnamon rolls in the morning time at breakfast. And it is that time. And I just almost feel myself drooling thinking about it. They're so moist and yummy. I know I've had them before. And this is the only place I can find this yummy of a cinnamon roll. So I hop out of bed and I get as dressed as... I don't get really dressed. I just put on what I have to in order to look like a normal human being at breakfast time in a public place. <laughs> But I just throw my hair in a ponytail and put on some jeans and keep going out. And I always like taking the stairs at hotels. And we are on the fourth floor. I like working my glutes and my leg muscles. I don't have the opportunity too often to do stairs. So I am feeling excited. And I go to the end of the hallway. And it's such a cozy hotel. And I just feel like I'm bouncing along. I'm feeling so healthy and strong. And I am excited for coffee and cinnamon rolls. Oh, and I'm just looking forward to a relaxing day where I have nothing to do and my family is well taken care of. It's going to be great. So I lightly put my fingers along the wooden banister as I hop down the stairs and I'm feeling so good. My joints feel good, my muscles, and I can just feel my leg muscles getting a little bit of a workout from the resistance of going down. And when I get to the bottom, I go out the door and it's over to the left down the hallway. And that's where the big cafe area is where you get your the breakfast buffet and there's a lot of seating and this is such a nice newer hotel there's so much seating and there are booths there are tables for two tables for four and it somehow feels like community seating like everywhere you sit you feel like you could potentially talk with the other people in the room which is really inviting and so I look over at the buffet and it is a long buffet and there are two extra little sections too and I'm excited to just check it out. So I start walking through and I'm thinking of a food channel that I watched recently, an episode of Rick Stein's food and he always walks around the whole buffet before he decides. So I decide, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, make a good decision. So I walk past the the drink section so there's the coffee and they oh I can smell it they have different flavors of coffee even hazelnut oh I think that's what I'm gonna go for but I'll wait a second on that and all the different creamers and then I see the juice station oh grape orange apple I usually don't have juice in the morning but I just might splurge this morning then I walk over to the main breakfast area and there's a place to make waffles and there are those cinnamon rolls. Ooh, I'm excited. I grab my plate and grab one right away and there are plenty and they're warm and fresh. Oh, I'm so excited. So I know I want one of those and they're actually pretty big too. So I keep walking and I see the different sausages and eggs and just all the yummy things. You can make oatmeal. It's so fun. And it gives me ideas for home too. They have, next to the oatmeal, they have nuts and craisins and brown sugar. They have so many things. And of course, butter and cream. 
they make that oatmeal look so decadent. And as you walk, as I walk along, I see um, the fruit. There's there are bananas and apples, and they all look so fresh. And then they have eggs, and you peel them yourself, which is kind of fun. And they have a little refrigerator. With, well, it has the eggs in it, and it also has the yogurts, and it has Chobani yogurt, which you can choose peach or strawberry yogurt. I decide it is time to fill my plate because I know what I want. So I already have my cinnamon roll. I grab some sausage links and they even have some fried potatoes. And I grab some of those. A little ketchup packet. And then I go over for my juice. And which juice am I going to have? Oh, I like the tartness of grape. But orange juice has a bit of bitterness. Oh, that's nice too. I'm grabbing both. Just a little glass of each. Maybe a half glass of each. I get that to a table that looks just right. Right in the middle where I can view what's going on. And I go back for my coffee and I grab a cup. And it's not just any cup. It's an actual coffee cup which just feels so nice at a hotel. And it's heavy in my hand. And it's a bright blue color. And I pour myself some hazelnut coffee and I just take a big whiff. That smells so good. And then I look over to the side and I see some different creamers, but the one that catches my eye is the orange one. That is caramel macchiato. Oh, yum. So I open up the little creamers. It's going to take several. And I open them up and put them in, stir it around with a little plastic stick and throw all that in the trash can there. Take a little sip and I can just feel the warmth going down and it is just so refreshing. I don't know if refreshing is the word, but comforting and soothing on a morning where I get to do whatever I want. And I just sigh deeply and I'm just thanking God for this time. Thank you God for giving good gifts in times of refreshment. So I go over and sit down. And right away, I pick up that cinnamon roll and take a bite. Oh, it's just as good as I thought it would be. I've thought about these cinnamon rolls since the last time I was at a Holiday Inn Express. Yum! So I'm looking around and I see there are kids and their PJs that look like their hair is <laughs> all matted from sleeping. And they're excited to eat their breakfast. Some of the kids seem to be with their grandparents, some are with parents, and, and I see it looks like a businessman and some workers, maybe electricians or something like that, and there are just several people throughout. Everyone just kind of smiles when you look at them, and they have the news on and newspapers all over, and it just feels like such a refreshing day, like this is a new day. God's mercies are new today. I don't watch the TV too much. I don't really care to see too much of the news, but it's just kind of fun to have something different. So I enjoy my breakfast and I decide to take a banana for the road, even though my road only includes going to the hotel room for now. So for a snack later, I'll have that. And I go on upstairs and I jog up two at a time the stairs and I'm feeling so strong and my hamstrings and glutes are just firing up and it feels good and I get to the top and I'm out of breath and I'm like woof that feels good and then I get to my hotel room and I click in the key thankfully I remember the key and it shows the little light and it clicks and it opens up this is a really nice hotel room it actually has two big beds <laughs> My husband and I only need one, but there's something fun about having an extra space just to kind of put all your stuff on or do whatever you want. And we also have a hot tub jacuzzi in this room, and that is very special. <laughs> so I am looking forward to that. This is a day where I'm going to do just exactly what I feel like doing. Nobody's pressuring me to do anything. 
And I, all I have to do is wait for my husband to get done with this conference. We'll go have lunch later together, and that'll be fun. Probably at a salad place. That sounds nice. So I pop on the TV, and it's just the kind of show I like to watch. It's just kind of a down-to-earth, um, doesn't take much thought, but just on a lazy day, it's nice to have on. It's okay if you doze off and miss a little bit, because you're not missing too much. It's just kind of fun. And I look over at that jacuzzi, and I'm like, mmm, that's what I feel like doing. So I turn it on, and it's getting nice and hot and all bubbly. And I get undressed and hop in there. And there's something so nice about having a jacuzzi all to yourself. You don't have to worry about moving over for anybody or what anybody's going to think. You just stretch out. And this is a pretty exciting one because I get to watch one of my favorite shows while I'm in the jacuzzi. It is so exciting. And after a while, I see that we have some wine and some orange chocolates. And I thought, oh, why not? It's been a little bit since breakfast. I mean, this is just going to be a little bit fun. So I have that and I just, it feels so decadent. And I am just really enjoying life right now. And I'm looking forward to the day I bought a book. I'm reading a book about, it's, it's such a funny book. It's about animals and, oh man, it had me laughing till I was crying the other day. And I am, I'm just laughing, thinking about the story I had read in there. I remember the kids just couldn't figure out what was going on. Like, what was, what's so funny, mom? And I was just laughing so hard I couldn't even explain it. Of course, they didn't quite understand what was so funny when I did explain it. But I'm looking forward to getting back into that book. And I just feel all the bubbles and the warmth. And my feet and toes just feel so pleasant and my fingers are just going along the bubbles and I am just enjoying life and I'm so 